What should Australia's cities and regions look like in the future? A liveable city of the future should provide for the well-being of all residents, provide for their prosperity, uh, provide for a high quality of life. But there's a growing divide between those who can afford to live near high-paying jobs and those in our suburban fringes. That's placed them at a relative disadvantage, which has meant that their ability to get a high-quality education, uh, access really high-quality health services, um, access really good jobs is constrained relative to those living in better located positions in the city. With public transport provisions failing to keep up with population growth, many in our suburbs have a carbon intensive and oil dependent reliance on vehicles. There's also no doubt that as our suburbs get bigger, our biodiverse landscapes get smaller. What we need is a national effort to bring together all the urban research capability that we have across the country and to link it more systematically uh, to policy programs, to policy agendas, so that we're getting the researchers and the policy makers in conversation, talking about the problems, talking about the issues, and nutting out what the evidence shows about the kind of solutions and responses we might offer to those. That's where Future Earth Australia comes in. Our cities and regions play a vital role in implementing the UN Sustainable Development Goals and Future Earth has been consulting widely on how cities can contribute to a sustainable and equitable world. And we had lots of ideas around innovation, particularly regeneration, uh, circular economy, um, really thinking carefully and hard about what we do with our waste and plastic and seeing not a problem, that needs to be moved to the side but an opportunity to innovate and to create solutions and to create new jobs and do things um, with a product that previously might have been discarded. Some global cities are already on that path with ambitious projects aimed at removing dependence on cars. Uh, the car uh, is a mode that people do use uh, but the majority of travel is by those other modes. That makes the city a much more livable place to be because uh, there's less traffic uh, we don't need the space for parking, uh, we can use that for other things like uh, green open space, um, affordable housing and so on. That won't happen overnight in Australia, but the first step is having a strategic vision not hampered by institutional silos. We're clever enough and there's enough science and enough knowledge to say we can have green spaces and affordable, plentiful housing in cities and regions so that everybody benefits from that. Future Earth hopes its 10-year roadmap will transform Australia's cities and regions to deliver a better standard of living for us all.